Waterfed 101. What we have here is a water tank full of water. We have the pump gravity fed. So all I have to do is switch it on. We have the new truly um, mini boat, the 15 feet of the Simpo. You can see we got really good water flow and there's still a little left of the soap. So I won't put any uh, Incoba in it, but normally you just need a little bit. These are three foot sections. So you go across the top. And this is the new um, football brush that's actually hog hair. These are having a hard time coming out because of um, spotting. So I'm using the Incova. So all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down cross and then give it the rinse and rinse is the key now the tucker way was half a window 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 then all the way down all the way up all the way down all the way up kick the brush to the side and rinse. These get done monthly. So if you want to, what I can do got the shutoff valve here which you can put the shutoff valve anywhere you want just put oh just a little bit not much on it at all I like the shut valve up top because then I have to go all the way to the back to get it and I love the hose from Ace so raise it up turn it on Now with the Incoba, I'll get a little bit wet first, all right? Then these get done all the time, so I'll give it one coat. And these are spotting up on me, so we'll see how they look after we're done inside. It's 46 today in Prescott Valley but if you're having trouble with spotting and this is in the sun hot air, well not hot yet but Arizona sun been doing water fed now for since 1983 but we've come a long way so here's the key now this with the brush on its end get up there in the edge, that's where we tend to have the trouble as far as spotting goes and get, get the water flowing I love this hog hair brush it's less than a pound and you have the side brushes, you can catch the sides but I try pulling this the last time and I have to be here five in the morning. That's where water fed is so much better than a ladder is because you can do it in the sun. And then if you're having trouble with spotting, you saw I only put a drip of Encova in it. So we rinse it all off. 42 years I've been cleaning windows. Five years designing the Simpo, which I think is a 
a great pole. What's nice too is see the sections, if you want, they all come out. I designed that over six years ago. Anyways, lower it. Lower it. So for uh, regular window cleaning, that's how you use the... Alright, so we got this done. Now here's for the hard part. These are plexiglass. So I'm going to cut this back so I get more flow. Anyways, I'm just going to, well, turn this off. I'm just going to put a drop. That's off. Not much at all in cover. Alright, pump's working. Now that's all plexiglass. The other one, the cleaner's never even cleaned. So I'll pull my cord around. And this design actually can go on the bottom of a 42. So you would have a 42 foot pole and an 18 foot pole and actually have truly two for one. But, you know, here at one, two, three, four, five sections, you see how high I am. Look at that. I broke, I broke the, um, the clamp. All right, now the clamp comes right apart. No problem. That's the weakest link. Hit that metal pole. And snap the clamp. Huh, just like that. I wish they'd make a metal clamp. Okay, so what do I do? Well, this is what I do. Take the original Star pole. We'll take this and let's see. Well, I guess I'll just switch poles right now. This is the three-star pole we have for 1100. Well, it's not the three-star pole, it's Vita's pole, but it's exactly the same pole. Anyways, so I'll take this and put a dab of Udulia. Guess it's always pays to have an extra elbow. Now what's nice about this, see how that all comes apart, so I could just go like this. And um, no other system. Well, I guess the gardener comes apart that easy. But I usually like having a pole on the outside. Anyways, pull this out. Put it back in. All right, hook it up. I think, look at the flow. I think that's one of the fastest repairs I've ever seen happen. Anyways, then I go across with the soap. off but it shows you you should be prepared spend the extra money carry an extra go <coughs> gooseneck with you an extra brush have the ability to do a repair or with the um, two for one you'll actually have two complete systems Try 
trying to do this by hand with a ladder, you'd be here a long time. See, that's what's nice about the side brush. I can get right in there in the slats, but I don't really worry about them too much because the other window cleaner didn't even clean them. I only get $75 for this whole job I'm trying to get some more homes. But anyways, you can almost see how the cleanser is starting to evaporate already. So always carry your spare head. You can see how that can happen at any time. Inside looks pretty dirty. So I'll just take this by hand and do the rest of it by hand. Okay. Now give it its rinse. little pump gives them really nice water. I really think with all water systems you either get a gas oil pump or the battery pump. I think it really makes a difference. We're working on having a pump in all the static systems. We're actually looking at a seven gallon a minute pump electric. This video is coming out. See, I'll just lower this down now. Turn it off. Now I'll put it up here. If I can get it when I go upstairs. You know what? I'm gonna do it the smart way. So I'll use my cord. I'll get it from this end. And we'll go up top. <coughs> These also have threaded, so I could, if I had one, I could have put the regular thing in there. Alright. Set that in there, and I'm going to pull that head off and do that by hand, which would be, um, need my short pole is what I need. Well, we'll just go like this. Screw this in. See, that's what's nice about simple brushes. Basically, you got one of the cheapest water fed poles right here because it just screws right in. And three of our brushes have this standard fitting, so in a pinch, you can pretty much use any pole. So, here we are, and this is what's so cool about the ability, all I have to do is this. That's why it's nice having something from a window cleaner's point of view because um, I design things 
we actually use. Pull this up. So I'll give this a once over because it still has soap on it. Now normally I would pressure wash all this. Anyways, give it its once over. It's a lot soapier. So last time I did this it froze. So this should come out a whole lot better. And try I try squeezing it by hand, but you see how fast it is. And I wanna apologize, sometimes I can be over the top when it comes to trying to sell Simpo. I've just been trying to make a living off it, but as you can see, I'm truly a window cleaner. And I thought we'll go into more training videos so you can see how things are done. And we're gonna do some training videos on the 440 so you see how you can use it. used to be all full of grease. Oh, I love this hog. He's going to be my pole of choice. Alright. And what you can do with all simple systems, you just pull it off. Now watch this. I do this a lot on homes. I'm going to have a little fan jet you can hook up. But it's amazing what you can do just with your thumb. See what I'm doing now is giving it that wrench that it needs. And that's the beautiful thing about the Encova, even though you got a lot of the soap on, it, it really rinses off. You gotta take a little bit more time, but I'll show you later how this would be spot free. So I've been window cleaning 42 years, 59 this year. I was really hoping I could retire and make things, but I'm still cleaning windows. I like cleaning windows. Anyways, um, sometimes windows aren't that dirty. You literally could just water fed them and walk away. So these we do every two, every two weeks and I'll take a video of this later. We'll see how good it worked. This is without ever even touching it. Last time I squeegeed it. Just out of curiosity, we'll see how it comes out. Anyways, what's nice is all the, all the poles we have come with this shutoff valve and it's movable as you can see. So anyways, here I'm done. We'll look at the timing on this. And this is with something with something breaking. Anyways, I've done systems where this pole, this has been a, like down the alley and we've done whole city blocks because I have the gas oil pumps. I love the little electric one. I love carrying the water. This is Phil Alexander, 20 minutes it took us and that's even with a failure. How long would it take to do all these windows and the side windows if we had to use a ladder? And that's actually what broke the equipment. Sorry about that. You guys have a great day. We'll, we'll check in later.